few years ago, I had the dream of playing a piano concert in which the audience would be surrounded by color, in which the emotions of the music would seem to envelop the listeners, not only by hearing, but also by seeing. Alexander Skryabin, the Russian composer, had a similar idea at the beginning of our century. He sketched a temple of the arts in which dance, music, poetry, light would all be combined to raise human beings to an ecstatic state of consciousness. Skryabin never completed his plans, but he did write a part for light organ in his Prometheus Symphony, which was performed in 1915 with colored gas flames. His disciple, Ivan Vishnagrodsky, continued his work, and he wrote manuscripts containing sketches for light projections, which were supposed to reflect his theories of harmony. With modern technology, it's possible to connect a computer to the grand piano, which is capable of analyzing the music and creating graphics and lighting signals of a diversity that these composers never had dreamed of. I went to work trying to use the new technology to create a new art medium. I planned a system in which a video projector would fill the stage with graphics. On the left side would be the grand piano. Sometimes dancers would appear in front of the projections. And the entire auditorium would be covered with white material, creating a domed ceiling onto which 60 colored spotlights would project a kind of starry environment. For the premiere program, I selected compositions from my repertoire of contemporary piano music. But in the future, I want to let composers write new pieces especially intended for my system of piano and light. The first piece for which I wrote a light composition is Feuerlegen by the American composer Gerald Hummel. This piece depicts bombs falling over a city in wartime. I envisioned fireballs appearing on the screen, converging to the center from all sides. When I play high notes, they come from the top. Lower notes come from the bottom. And very low notes come from the side. The fast notes come from far away and go very fast, and the soft notes go slower. And the different colors are generated by the different octaves. on the program is Schattenspiel by Lutz Glandin. For this piece, I took an oil painting by Lisa Inkman, which depicts sexual animal organs in earthen colors. Sure, into a hundred pieces in the computer, and I let different musical parameters control the choice of different zoomed parts of the picture. This way, the audience never sees the entire painting at once, but has to reconstruct it subconsciously over a period of time.
The Imaginary Dialogue Number 2 by Georg Katzer is full of wit, combining piano and tape in a virtual discussion with each other. I drew an animated painting in which the forms and colors are partly determined by the music, but also partly determined by chance, so that unexpected effects surprise the spectator visually, just as unexpected tones reach the ear. When I play notes, rectangles appear on the screen. And when I combine several notes together, we get a kind of Mondrian painting. Gordon Feldman's last piano composition, Palais de Marie, creates an ethereal atmosphere by its slowness and length. The dancer Susanna Kirchner is known for her slow dance sculptures, requiring the utmost in bodily control. I set her before a stage filled with a computer painting onto which a photographic image was superimposed. To close the program, I chose the seventh sonata by Alexander Scriabin. I went back to Scriabin's own system of correspondences between harmony and color, which has been handed down to us by his disciple Leonid Sabanyev. I programmed the computer to recognize in real time the harmonies that I play and to transform them into colors which were projected on the domed ceiling and also into sensuous forms, which I borrowed from the painter and computer programmer, Greg Jalbert. Now I'm going to play a C chord according to the Scriabin system. C sharp, D. If I add melody tones to these chords, the computer still recognizes the correct chords. If I play dominant seventh chords, an X appears in the right window. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. So that the computer recognizes which class of chords I'm playing. <laughs> 